Hello, welcome back to Backbone. I'm back, Overtain Gamer. We're back here, continuing this. Like always, if you haven't seen the first ones, check them out. I'm back here, watch this one. Part one is an annotation above, and then uh, other parts are in the description below. Check them out, didn't come back. We'll continue from where we left off. So, uh, without further ado, here we go. Last time we got shot, we're in this place. I don't know what's happening, but uh, I don't know where we are. I'm gonna find out here. It's where I woke up, unfortunately. Boil it. At least it's not a bucket. Ventilation. I can't see any way to open. Where am I? What's this fucking container? Locked door. Can't see anything through the keyhole. Larissa. You're awake. Your turn to make the tea. Huh. So let's take technology here and no kettle. My apologies. Why'd you hunt me down? You didn't leave much choice, I'm afraid. What is this thing inside of me? It's this symbiotic organism that splices its own genetic code with a host and rapidly expresses the new code. Now, in my hands, it's safe. Your hands aren't safe. They're drinking the blood of innocence. No one I've dealt with has been truly innocent. But yet, I've to make some extreme measures. In my family, it's expected. You could have broken a cycle. Darling, things don't change by breaking them. You have to steer them in other directions, like how you steered those young girls over the wall. I took care of them. I helped them start a new life. What's your plan for the artifact? I'll find a use for it. It's none of your concern. You wanted to blackmail the apes with. Still don't get it, do you? Doesn't matter. I promise to make this as painless as possible. You have to stop sacrificing people for your own goals. The artifact changes everything, Howard. Not that I need your forgiveness, but trust me, I'm not like the apes. You don't have to do it alone. Let me help. I had better get going, Howard. I'm generally sorry I worked out this way. Clarissa, wait. Yeah, here's someone just outside. It doesn't smell like Clarissa. It's nothing personal, but I'm not supposed to talk to you. Are you are you a doctor? Put it simply, no, I'm a scientist. Please tell me why I'm here. We can run some tests on you. That's all I know. Poor Clarissa, you do everything for her benefit. I know she doesn't always play by the rules, but I'm here by own free will. I'm sorry that you aren't. Why do you care? I'm guessing you had no idea what the artifact was. You're just unlucky. None of this is personal. Think I'll survive the test? Hmm. I'd best get back to my preparations. Fine. Now what? Empty shelf. A small table. Not exactly useful. I could just give up a weight. No, not yet. It's a smell. Shit, I think it's coming from the vents. Knocked me out. She must have dropped this. It's mine now. I missed. Oh, you're awake already. Right, the anesthetic is not very effective on you. I'll use more next time. Why? Hmm? What's that you're saying? Are you done? Not yet. We need to start another test. I'm really sorry. We'll change you too. What is happening? Transformation became undone, and everything reversed back to discomfort and uncertainty. True state of all things. These are done to us. We burst in this new identity, and we have to bear the brunt of losing it. Maybe we pushed too hard and damaged the shell that kept everything together. It gave us a definition. We are all we are alone. All we have is ourselves. There's no longer movement, just stillness of passing through time, waiting for the end, for the borders to shift, for the start of a new purpose. There will be none. We demand a purpose. We keep reaching into the past, our limbs sliding through the centuries of slimy gunk, feeling for bits of trauma and events that could somehow elaborate on our anguish. There are answers somewhere. Nothing stays the same. No one knows anything. We become. This bandage is really pinching. Respect. 
front of the bandage is speckled with dried blood, some of it unnaturally dark, almost black. It's tight and pinching the skin beneath painfully. Move bandage. Oh, that feels better. What are they doing to me while I'm unconscious? What are they hoping to find? Carefully inspect chest. I'm not bleeding. It looks like I'm fine underneath. I wonder why she bothered putting it on me. The tumor's on your back. I don't know if I can bear to touch it with my hands. As soon as I can feel it shifting, touch it. The overwhelming feeling is of something warm and living. There are hard ridges and softer, pulsating plateaus. The thing is not a part of me. No fucking way. Tumors pulsate in response. They disagree. Sniff the bandage. Smells of anesthetic and undertones of earthiness. Not the iron tang of blood. Something more mellow. That will be came with my scent. In your pocket and leave. Beyond Walls by Hiza Shafitz. Thanks, Bell. Open the cover. There's a handwritten note on the first page. To Bell, hope this little book helps light a spark when you're in the deepest dark. CB. Pull the book to the middle. Uh, page fell out. Take a look. It's just come unplugged, unglued. That's the problem with mass market paper bags. Pocket it. I'll hang on to it just in case. Read the back of book blurb. What are walls? The ones that surround us physically and emotionally. And how do we break free? Physicist and award-winning writer Shafitz makes a blistering, innovative investigation of the true nature of happiness. With the kind of escape escapism I had in mind, but it's better than nothing. You hear footsteps, pacing. Good morning, how are you feeling? With the test results saying, I may have time to do any analysis. I'm sorry, but there will be more. Don't try to feel better about yourself by being kind to me. If it would make you happier just to be ignored completely, please just let me know. I don't know. Just open a window, it's suffocating in here. Yeah, I can do that. Thanks. What? Geezer. Lark? You got something for me? Hunk? No. Howard, if this reaches you, I am where I found you on your ass at nine every night. I showed the geezer your photo, told him to check the unusual places. I'm sorry I didn't come back that day. I was being followed. I'm worried about you. I've asked around, but you're holding out on me. Hope we can get have tea together again soon. R. Can you take her back my reply and blink page? Hunk. It's all Clarissa and Science Ape. I screwed up. She caught me. I won't be Howard for long. So I got space for Hunk. Thanks, friend. Fly safe. Hunk. See you too. Got a feather. Howard, please eat. Keep your strength up. Soup, I hate soup. Just a piece of bread and some butter and packets too. Put the food. It would keep me alive, but it might destroy my will to live. Don't touch it. I don't trust myself to keep it down. Pocket the butter. Butter. I need energy later. Done here. Yes. Please tell me about who you really are. I suppose I owe you that much. I'm going to start. I'm a scientist, but there aren't many scientists like me. What does that mean? Don't be naive. Rodents do not become scientists. It's not illegal, but it may as well be. You ever wish she's taken advantage of you? Of course, cross my mind. But I get what I want from this deal, too. And if she is, at least she hasn't ruined my face. Guys, we're still working for a criminal. Is it that simple? The apes are the biggest crooks in the city, and they're in charge. But it does more for people like me than the apes have ever done. Krista kills people and sells their flesh to the apes. What are you talking about? Why would she do that? For her own gain, for power. Even if that's true and it was that simple, I'm sure she has a good reason for it. Can you hear yourself right now? Yes, but I remember what my life was like before her. I felt like it was a slave society. All you did was get a prettier master. Easy to say for someone who's never had a master at all. Her name is Bell. Yes, how did you know? I found an inscription in the book. Oh, I'd forgotten it was there, but yes, it's no real secret. You repressed it because the book scares you. You're ludicrous. I'm a scientist. My whole life is about exploring the unknown. The book is a symbol of your debt to Clarissa. No, it's not much, but maybe you'll find something in the book you can use. Need to rest. As you wish. Thank you. Need to resist this. Fuck. Oh, man. Back to the test. What a big needle look like. Jab that sucker in there.
Yes, Miss Bloodworth. The artifacts are spawning a test. Yes. Of course, I'll be very careful. It's all for nothing. The act of existing is enough. There's only change. What are we now? One with the past incarnations of self. One with the visions of future never lived. One with the myriad of identities we've chosen and those that were chosen for us. We are one. We need to get out today. I refuse to die here. Stain is dead with blood. My blood. Dirty toilet with a sink on top of it. Soak the bandage in water. Maybe this will help. Now what should I do with it? Come on, I know you're there. Howard, how are you feeling? What do you think? I can only imagine. In any case, please get ready for the next round of tests. We'll start soon. You don't blame me for this. Thank you, Howard. I wasn't asking for forgiveness, but I'd be lying if I said I wasn't willing to hear that. We are ready. Please try and eat. It's important. Yeah, almost like a small chunk of overcooked fish with undercooked rice. Ponder the food. It needs to go in us. Are we what we contain? At least it's not soup. Look at it in disgust. This meal is upsetting. Somehow I'm not hungry. Fuck this. Whatever happens, I need to make sure the gas doesn't knock me out. Any weapon of choice. The gas will start leaking out at any moment. Tie the wet bandage over my mouth like a mask? It's tied around my mouth and nose. It should be effective at blocking the gas particles and buy me some time. Or I can step into the vent itself. That would back some of the gas from coming in the first place. On my face. I don't feel too bad. I sure hope this works. Gotta think fast. Bell expected me to be unconscious. Could pretend to be unconscious. Risky, but it'd get the door open and get her close to me. Yeah, do it. Okay, she has to come in to get me. In your face. Oh no, I don't. It's your ladder. Bell, stop. Are you conscious? The artifact somehow. We didn't want to die. I know you must hate me, but please don't hurt me. I can. You have to go. You don't have much time left. I think you should know that. Longest walk is upon us. Okay. We we'll need these keys to get out of here. We want to see the test results. We won't have it's mostly raw data, and they need to now analyzing, comparing. We need to see them. Files are on the computer over there, Howard. I'm so sorry. I don't understand any of this shit. I can smash us all up, but I'm so tired. Okay, Bell Lewis Carson. Test day one. First suit of tests aim to work towards an understanding of patient's physiological state through pain threshold and response. Initial tests concluded patient had a far higher, broader pain tolerance than average subjects, along with a massive spike in aggression hormones. Full data range below. Test day two. This set of tests aim to establish a basic framework for understanding the artifact's effect on healing factors in motor control. Uh, our initial conclusion is that in this subject, at least the artifact has rapidly begun breaking down certain neural pathways while strengthening certain parasympathetic nervous systems. Day three, aims of the third test suite will be to isolate RNA and DNA functions and relationship. If patient does not survive, we will perform autopsy and attempt to recontain the artifact for further study. Are you, are you me, are we us? Are you, are you, are you... R am I who I am, I am, I am. Look into extant data on psychological trauma linked to neuro neuropathy, correlation, thesis, psychosomatic impact on artifact. Also, study effect of immune response to common viruses of those exposed to extra wall environment compared to intra wall. City has immune immunosuppressant effect. Why? We are, we are, we are. Test day 3040. Text. Test continue. There are not many of us left. Time is running out, but hope preserves. I preserve. We can't let the line end here. Change is preferable to annihilation. We are all our genes. Our genes are all we are. We are, we are, we are. Observation zero. It was bizarre seeing the growth today. It sits on the subject's shoulders like a hoodie or something. Day's tests proved that his pain tolerance is well above average, and I believe it. He's been walking around with that thing on him for days, and he still hasn't dropped. 
It's a shame we couldn't track the effect it's had on him from the start, and sometimes I wonder how much of that tolerance is him and how much is the artifact. Subject seems to be suffering nightmares. He groans, twists, and turns. He whispers to himself in his sleep. I guess if he is sleeping at all, like he's having an imaginary argument with himself. Observations 2. He might not have much time left. Even if I were to let him out now, he wouldn't last long. In a way, he's better off here. Of course, he doesn't see it that way. Observations 3. We're wasting time here. These numbers and letters are inconsequential. We must go. We must become. We must be. Yes, we are. Note dot text. Must go. We are. We mu must be. His name is Howard. I don't know why I wanted to mark that down, but I felt compelled to. His name is Howard. Okay. That's uh, all of that. Test stuff. Act 5. Epilogue. Hello, Clarissa. I'm going to trust you well. I'm fine, Bloodworth. It's busier than usual. Is the next delivery still on track? Indeed. I haven't heard from you in a week. Anything on your mind? Have you any reason to doubt me before, Minister? Not once. Must inform you that a most peculiar instant is secure. No one broke into my office. Any clues you could have tipped them off? Is they still anything important? Just some papers. Some pertain to our partnership. Do you have any information concerning who could have done such a thing? No, but if I hear anything, you'll be the first to know. All right, I believe you for now. Minister, we are partners. I don't understand where this is coming from. If you're underneath something on the grapevine, let me know, please. This could impact us both. Of course, I will take care of myself. Hope you will do the same. Mm. Goodbye, Clarissa. Have a wonderful evening, Minister. Okay, well, we're Clarissa now. We're on Act 5. Last act, it seems. Next one, next episode might be the final episode. So, we'll see what happens. But, uh, wow, a lot happened. We were stuck prisoner for a while, and we got out. Don't know where we are, what's happening to us, if we died or something. Now we're Clarissa for some reason. Don't know what's happening. But um, yeah, if you like what you saw, hit subscribe, like button. And uh, as always, stay blessed, my friends. Till next time. Bye.